If you've been out of the house lately, you have realized that very few people are having children anymore. If you should happen upon a person of childbearing age, 93% are staring at their phones. And as I learned in biology class, this is no way to reproduce. In fact, this is exactly what happened to the dodo bird. iPhones! <laughs> Statistics prove that very few of us would be here if we had not been born, am I right? So, I encourage the setting down of phones and the having of children. But there are steps you must take to prepare yourself. First, get married, of course. Commitment is the key, it really is. And remember that children don't just raise themselves. Ah, they don't. They require supervision and love and a mother and tears and prayers and someone yelling, where are your shoes? We're gonna be late. That was my job. All this to say, don't just dive into this child having thing without a helmet. Read good books first like a brilliant one called I Used to Have Answers, Now I Have Kids. Coincidentally, it certainly changed my life when I wrote it, so it will change yours. Next, try a few simple exercises to prepare for life with little ones. First, women may want to strap a 10-pound sack of beans around their abdomens and carry it around for nine months. Guys should visit the nearest supermarket and set up an automatic e-transfer so that their salary goes directly down the chute for incidentals like diapers and food and Lego at $6 a block. To get used to nighttime routines, purchase a screech owl. It sleeps much of the day looking sweet and cuddly. Then begin screeching along about bedtime. Remain calm, wrap owl snugly in blanket and pace the house, humming softly. The owl rarely appreciates this and will only screech louder, but insert earplugs, be patient. After an hour of pacing, hand screech owl to your spouse who has been in bed but hasn't slept a wink anyway. But you say, what about dressing the children? Yes, I highly recommend this. To prepare, purchase a large octopus. Cut eight holes in a bag. Try fitting octopus in bag with each tentacle coming out a separate hole. Practice until this takes less than 20 minutes. Snowsuits in winter will now be a cinch. If the octopus sprays ink all over the bag, no problem. This is your new normal. <laughs> to prepare yourself for driving in cars with kids, have a friend sit directly behind you and scream without warning. Ah! Have them kick the back of the seat repeatedly. Coat their hands in honey and place over your eyes without warning. Buy a small salmon, shove it in the glove compartment, and leave it there a week. You will need a good sense of humor and no sense of smell. This is gonna prepare you. Next, pound a large potato chip bag into tiny little pieces and sprinkle throughout car. Grab a rake and gently scrape it along the sides of the vehicle. Finally, to prepare for shopping with children, buy a goat. <laughs> As you shop, be certain to keep goat in sight at all times. <laughs> Pay for anything the goat eats or destroys. Now, to prepare for the teen years, you need to buy four more goats and live with them a while. <laughs> I'll be serious for a minute. Like anything worthwhile, having kids can be exhausting, heart-stopping, agonizing. But when that child comes running, climbs on your lap, hugs your neck and says, I love you, Bubba, you will be butter in a frying pan. And you'll find there are places in your heart you didn't know existed until you loved that little child. Yes, parenting is messy. So is anything worthwhile and life-changing. Like me, you'll face your self-centeredness and learn to care for others. You'll learn patience and humility and self-control and a host of things you just never learn when life is tight. So take the risk, embrace the adventure, seek God, read his word, pray like crazy, ask for wisdom, plug your nose, hide the rake, and dive in. Listen, if you push that subscribe button, something cool happens to me. Or if you comment or like or share, something cool happens. So try it. Do it. Just for us, would you? Yeah!
Look, look. I know, kind of cheesy.